Part four sees us about to board the corridor train to Montreal, where we'll stay a few nights, and then on to Quebec. Uh, we're travelling business class on the corridor train, so we get access to the business class lounge at the Toronto station. Um, very nice, uh, free drinks, snacks, comfortable seats while you wait. Uh, altogether a, a fairly smooth integration uh, to get on board the train. So then it's uh, down to the station platform and walking along to the end past the corridor trains um, which the locos are Siemens Charger ones they were upgraded I think in the last five years or so um, very quiet, very smooth. My only problem is when you go in, all the seats were half facing one way and half another. And we were in the, the set of seats that uh, were basically had our backs to the loco. So you couldn't see what was coming. You could only see what was going past. But it doesn't matter. Uh, it was an interesting ride, and uh, yeah, it was all right. Lunch was up to the usual via standard. Uh, I had ravioli, uh, which was very nice. And Lois had the roast chicken uh, with salad and vegetables, which was also very nice. Cups of coffee and tea whenever you wanted it. Definitely the landscape have changed uh, as we head towards Montreal, uh, sorry, Quebec. Um, still no, not much autumn leaves, but plenty of corn. It was just fields and fields and fields of corn. There's the happy tra travellers. So we stayed overnight uh, in Montreal, uh, a very nice hotel, and uh, we stayed there several days and did tours around the place. Um, a lot to see, which will be in our other videos of places to visit in Canada, which will follow after this series. And then we're off on the uh, corridor train again, business class again. Uh, to Quebec. Uh, similar sort of setup and uh, yeah, very comfortable seats. You just cannot fault them. We'll just do a, a bit of a preview. There's a, a virtual tour on the online and of course there's train spotters. There's always train spotters somewhere in the system. Uh, you can sort of tell them. <laughs> so this is just a rundown of the things available within the, the um, business class section. Very impressed with the bathrooms. Um, very impressed. And you can have these little nooks uh, if you wanted to have a business meeting. You can book them as a separate thing. Lunch again. Um, this time I just had the pasta, and uh, I must say they were always hot. Um, you know, it wasn't cold meals, and I can't remember what this one. It might have been chicken again, uh, or a bit of steak. Unsure of that one, but as I said, top notch, top notch.
and then away from the cornfields for a while. Uh, I don't know what was growing here, it's obviously fallow at the moment. Uh, great big silos are commonplace uh, on most of the farms. And then coming through a small township, what amazes me about North America, and it might be different elsewhere, but no dividing fences for your, your yard. Uh, everyone seems to run into everyone else's yards. Um, yeah, don't know whether there's boundary disputes or whatever, but yeah, there's no, seems to be less definition of, of backyards and front yards uh, than what there is in Australia. Just going through Drummondville over the Hastings River and the Hemmings Falls. It seems the Hastings River further upstream has further spectacular falls. So we're now coming into Quebec. A um, bit of infrastructure as we see it coming through. Um, and uh, we might just let it run to the end from here.